Welcome to Center of Maths, uh, Images and Math series. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Pascal's theorem. So Pascal's theorem is a theorem on uh, kind of a hexagon in a circle, where if we draw some lines, we get some collinear points. Uh, so before we talk more about Pascal's theorem, we need one other theorem, which I won't prove here, uh, Menel Lasse's theorem. Menelaus's theorem, it's a theorem that lets you establish whether or not, you know, three points are collinear or not. It's a necessary and sufficient condition for them to be collinear. So say we have a triangle ABC uh, and a line ZYX, or yeah, some line that's not uh, parallel to any of the sides of ABC. Then uh, extending the lines AB, BC, and CA so that these lines intersect with our line. Uh, then we label the points Z, Y, X. And uh, so a necessary and sufficient condition that, you know, in fact, three points Z, Y, X be collinear is that BX over CX times CY over AY times AZ over BZ uh, equal one. So yeah, so if we extend these lines, pick some points, uh, then this will equal one even and only if those points are collinear. So Pascal's theorem is that if we have six points on a circle, you know, ECA, BFD here, and we draw, you know, diagonals of a circle, and we intersect opposite diagonals, and we get the points N, L, M, that th this, these three points, M, L, M, are collinear. So that's Pascal's theorem. Uh, so we're going to use Menel Laus's theorem and uh, power of point to prove this. So first we're going to extend EF, CD to the, so the intersection at point U. We have some uh, additional intersection of points at W and at V. So we have a triangle U, V, W. This is kind of the triangle we're going to use in Menelaus' theorem. And we're going to use three lines, also LDE, AMF, BCN. Uh, yeah. LDE. So yeah, take DE, find the intersection of it with the line VU, L. So we, we know that's, you know, collinear, similarly with AMF and BCN. So this triangle and these three uh, collinear points, that's going to give us three equations from Menelaus's theorem. So using the collinear theorem that we've been using for LDE, AMF, BCN, we get these three equations with a bunch of ratios. They all multiply one. So we're going to multiply these three equations together. And then uh, we're going to use the power of the point to do some cancellation. For example, we're going to have UE times UF on uh, UE times UF on one of the I think the numerator and UC times UD on the denominator, and these are both equal by the power of the point. We have a bunch of other uh, things that multiply similarly. And then things are going to cancel, and we're going to get another equation of this form, so three ratios equals one. Uh, and that's, these three ratios are going to be uh, they're going to be the equations for, you know, taking L and L and M with triangle U, uh, V, W, using Menelaus's theorem. Uh, and then using the converse of that theorem, we can establish that N L M must be uh, collinear, since it's a necessary and sufficient condition. So now, uh, so these circle terms are the ones that are not going to cancel out. They're going to be left when we multiply everything together. Multiplying everything else together, we get something of this form, 
So note, for example, the triangles here, WD, WC over WA, WB. WD, WC, that's you know, WD times WC, and that equals WA times WB by the power of the point there. So these, in fact, cancel, and similarly for all the squares and circles, everything's going to cancel. So this all must equal 1. And so from that, we're just going to be left with the circle terms up here. So. So multiplying everything through, we're left with what we want, which is VL over WL times WM over UM times UN over VN equals 1. And so this is just the, so yeah, this is just the equation for Menelaus' theorem. So it's, this is satisfied by the same theorem, the converse, you know, uh, the points being collinear implies this, and the converse is true, this also implies the points are collinear. So. So this implies that, in fact, these three points are all on one line. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please check out the rest of our videos in our Images of Math series. And, uh, thanks for watching.